Hey sweets, now you guys are probably wondering what type of video am I going to do this week? Well, since my hair's been up in braids, I have decided to do a hair length month check. Yep, you got that right. So I'm going to be splitting this up into a few parts here. First, I'm going to be doing the front forehead area, the back corners right and left, the back center, the frontal center portion, as well as my sideburn ear area. So let's get started. First, let's do behind the ear. I usually like to do behind the ear because it's a little bit of a secretive area and sometimes the hair can be a little bit longer there than it is in your sideburn area. So I'm gonna start with my left behind ear portion. I'm going to go along where the slight clearing of my ear is and I'm going to pick it up from right behind my ear. I'm going to make a small part. Then I usually like to run my fingers through my hair a little bit just to help straighten it out and to get a better reading. Now it has been about three months since I did my first month lymph check and I don't really think my hair really grew that that much um, I do have a slower growing wake a glowing rate sorry guys um, than most people I've realized in the beginning my hair grew really really long and then as it became more and more natural I started realizing that my hair doesn't grow as fast as others except when it's perfectly new um, but it did grow a little bit. On the left side, I reached my collarbone at its fullest, fullest length. Um, I usually like to do its fullest length just to show where the ends of the tips of the hair go. Um, it's a little past the collarbone, which is pretty cool, I must say. I'm pretty impressed that I got that far. Um, but yeah, and then at its full length, I think it reaches just above the collarbone at its full healthy length. But at the tips of the hair, it goes down past my collarbone. Now I'm going to do the right side behind the ear. Once again, usually I like to do the right side because like behind the ear, um, I don't know. I just kind of feel as if sometimes my hair is a little bit longer there and it's a little bit healthier behind the ear there because most of the time I don't really put anything behind my ear too much rather than the sideburns which I pretty much tease with all the time so sometimes I like to check there um, my right side is about the same length um, this side is a little bit slower growing sadly enough to say than the other side which really grows relatively fast in comparison um, so it sometimes struggles to get to um, a pretty decent length. But so far the full tipness is past my collarbone. Um, though it's a little, how should I say, weaker. But anyway, let's go on to the, let's go on to the back portions of the right and left. I usually like to do the right and left of the back portion because I got my hair trimmed and different portions of my head and the back of my head. I had a burn in the back of my head as I told you guys and in some portions of of the back of my head it grows a little faster or it's a little bit longer because those are the ones that got trimmed the first or second or, or the soonest than others. This portion is a little bit longer I suspect. This is also past my collarbone which I well, really, I should say not past it, but on my collarbone, which I kind of suspect. Um, this particular portion is where the burn was, which is where I got my hair cut the soonest. Um, so this portion may be a little bit longer than the other side. Once again, the main reason why I usually measure these two... I Sorry. The reason why I measure these lengths separately, back, center, and left, is because they was cut in different... My hair was cut in different areas at different times. So now I'm going to move on to the left side, back portion. 
Sorry guys, this is uh, my first narrative vlog, so I'm a little uh, <laughs> tongue-tied, but please, uh, p please still like me. Let let let's go on. As usual, I brush my fingers through my hair to make it as straight as possible. The back of my hair has a very tight curl, so sometimes I really have to brush my fingers through it just to get the curls to really lengthen out. And this is about the same length. It goes past my collarbone some. Um, if not at my collarbone once again, it's a little bit slower than the other side um, But it is a little bit thicker I think on that side too So I'm just gonna do the other side real quick just to show you one more time The length of that one in comparison to the other one And it's about the same it's about the same all right then, so let's go on to the front portion. We're going to do the front portion above the forehead now. Now if I remember correctly, in my last video, the forehead portion of my hair came down to about past my nose, between my nose and my lips. This time, it ends just below my lips, um, between my lips and my chin, which is not too bad. Um, my hair in the front does not grow that fast. Um, so I suspected that it wouldn't really get too too far It did make it did grow, but I suspected that it wouldn't grow that far um, The hair in my center does grow faster than all like the hair is on the rest of my head So I suspect that it may be a little bit longer than this one um, This one reaches the tip of my nose to between the tip of my nose to my first lip and I'm pretty excited for that, I think. <laughs> I forgot how long it was in the front, to be honest. Now I'm going to do my sideburn area. I always used to be pretty <laughs> pretty embarrassed about my sideburns because I used to think that they was really thick. That goes to about my about to the bottom of my neck area over there and on the other side. It goes to about my to the bottom of my neck as well. Uh, which is pretty long in comparison to the last month check, I think. Um, and, hold on, I have a celebration. Give it a few seconds. Yes, that's right. I now have accomplished a proper ponytail length. It isn't long, but it's a proper ponytail length. Watch me dance. Look at me go. Yeah, yeah, I'm so cute. Go, Chrissy. Go, Chrissy. Go, Chrissy. Go, Chrissy. I don't know what I was doing there, but I guess I thought I was a model or something. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> as you guys can see, I have a proper ponytail left. Thank you for watching this somewhat kind of stupefied hair check. I hope to see you guys later. Bye. Oh, wait one second. I forgot one more portion. And that is, I usually like to do the back center area as well. I forgot all about this portion. Yeah, I like to do a lot of hair lymph checks in a lot of different portions of my head. So please bear with me as I do the back lymph check. No, I mean, sorry, the back centerish area of my head. Um, sometimes I like to check this area because that's where I massage the most. Um, I usually like to massage in that particular area, so sometimes I see that it grows a little bit faster than the others. And that is about to my shoulder, basically backish like area. Um, this is a portion of my head, as I said again, that I massage the most, so it's a portion that I most of the time I see the growth first um, before I see it in other places. Um, so, once again, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And also, oh, I forgot one other portion. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to... Huh. I'm forgetting a lot of stuff, it seems. I'm sorry, guys. Now I'm going to take the back center area and I'm going to bring it up front. I did this narr I did the video and then I did the narration so if you're thinking this doesn't sync up as well I'm sorry and this goes to about the collarbone area oh yeah so basically my hair is officially at 
a shoulder length. I wouldn't say that I could reach the collarbone area, but yeah. So, thanks for watching. Bye.